chapters 6 and 7. Through the anointing on this place, we shall abide according to the house rules of conduct. There will be no controversy. Through Yeshua, Yahweh seen in the flesh. 1 Timothy 3, 15 through 16. So be it. 7 says, We are made sons and daughters by the death, burial, and resurrection of Yeshua. Yeshua is the Messiah, the only begotten Son of Yahweh. This place is built upon that rock, and therefore the gates of hell shall not prevail. Matthew 16th chapter, verses 13 through 19. So be it. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. Father, we thank you for you bringing us all out today. Father, we thank you for you giving us that desire, Father, to please you and to learn of you and to receive of you, Father. We thank you for just being so wonderful, Father, for just giving us that that ability, Father, to receive and, Father, to, to come before you with an humble mind and an humble heart, Father, to ask that you would lead and guide us all into all truth, Father to show us what you will have us to see, Father, to reveal that, that you will have us to know, to, 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 to just make it plain to each one of us, Father, that you would just make it clear, Father, that you would give us that understanding that we need, Father, and that you would just prevent any distractions, Father, prevent any confusion that we might come in to try to prevent your word from coming forth on today. We ask that your will be done, Father. Thy kingdom come, your will be done in this place on today. And that you be glorified in everything that is said and done. Father, we give you praise, we give you glory and honor in this place. In the name of Yeshua, we pray. Amen. 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 Come on and put those hands together for your heavenly Father. Amen. He is wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, he is. And let's welcome you to another episode of Covenant Vows and Contracts. Amen. And you may be seated. And I apologize because I have not sent you the updated PowerPoint for today's lesson. I am fired, Jonathan. Again. <laughs> yes. So, today we're going to be talking about six days. AKA, anybody know? Ah. One. <laughs> fire, you're fired. The Father has revealed a lot of things to us, and we've been talking about the importance of keeping that covenant relationship, first of all, <coughs> our key verses that we've been talking about is, one, we've been going to Deuteronomy, let's go to that one, I apologize, I'm trying to get it up here. Here are you. Somebody give me the key verse. One of the key verses. Y'all know it as much as I do. Come on, Everybody got that mic? Minister Vaughn, are you with us? Voice in the air? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you. Okay, Brother MC, you got it? Okay, my brain is like on overdrive because I'm trying to send you guys the PowerPoint and I'm trying to pull up the my notes. So it's like my brain is going, nope, I don't know what to do first. 
Mm -hmm. I got a document from you. That's on Facebook? Yeah. Yeah, it's a power, I, I have a PowerPoint too, so um, I was trying to be all smart today. So I'm glad I Nobody know what our, what our, okay. Our foundational scriptures, Deuteronomy 12 and 32. Sure yeah, he said Deuteronomy 12. And then we have uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Y'all remember that? No. Somebody read it for me. And tell me what it's about. Jeremy 12, 32. What thing soever I command you observe to do it, thou shalt not add thereto, nor diminish from it. Talk to me, what does that mean? That means you do what is told. Don't make up excuses because you want to do something different. Is that it? Yeah. Come on, give him a hand. Come on, come on, give him a hand. Okay, just say this. Basically, it's the same thing we talked about in that first class. It's talking about don't twist it. Um, he's saying, the father's saying, in this Deuteronomy 12 chapter in 22nd, 28th verse. Boy, I'm telling you. Don't change the recipe. Thank you. Don't add to it. Wait, you know, this particular recipe, because the recipes, you got to add your flavor to it. <laughs> You know, you really do. You I'm you got to add your sure. little your little flavor to it. You when uh, somebody give you a recipe, and they you know some recipes you don't you don't follow by the letter. Some bacon recipes you got to add the exact amount. Bacon recipes you got to add the exact amount of bacon powder and all of that stuff. Otherwise, it's not gonna turn out right. Plus the extra cup of sugar. Uh, <laughs> but the, but some other things you got to add your little flavor to it to make it your own. You know, you add to it and you kind of tweak it and you kind of make it your your little your little nice. I mean, you make it your own. You bring it home and you make it your own. But it ain't gonna take the same. But then, but okay, come on, talk to me, y'all cooks and stuff. Come on. You and me. Yeah, everybody. With the recipe. Bacon. Okay, yeah, bacon man. It's the same thing that you want to go that far. It's the same thing with Yahweh when he said that uh, you can hang all the laws on uh, uh, that you love that neighbor as thyself. That as thyself is in your flavor, how do you treat and love yourself? You can tweak it that way if you're going to do that. If you're going about, you're not going to do that route, you can go about the route where you're saying that this is for like, let's say, God messed with us. A uh, restaurant that's not for you, that's for the restaurant. You know, those are the rules for right. whatever, whatever. So, but it came down to, uh, uh, like, like I said in the Old Testament, how they approached the Holy of Holies. And it came down to, like, the Holy of Holies, you had to do it a certain way. There, there was no tweaking in there. Yeah. You know, like I said, with these laws right here, everybody prayed different. You know, it's the same, but it's different. You know, you might want to say something different. You might want to say other than God bless pastor this time. And so I have to pray at the same time and say something different. So the Spirit make intercession. You got all these different types of things you want to go to. You can take that both ways is what I'm trying to say. You can take it as the company version. That okay, God said that, that uh, don't add down to it. And he's talking about these specific, I think specifically he's talking about uh, uh, covenant dealing with uh, joining into a merger. Like a marriage covenant. And a marriage covenant, you know, that's like one of those you can't sleep with nobody else feel. Mm -hmm. You know. You want to come to y'all, this is part of our prenuptial agreement. You sleep with somebody be the war, the end of it. Until you repent. So those types of things. I just want to throw that in. All right. Council come on, give me a hand, y'all. Council went to the deep to the depths and to those to the to the to the ones that can't handle that, y'all know what Pastor was talking about. No. 
John C. Miller Pastor was talking about? You caught some of that, what he said? You did. I thought you listening. You caught some of it. Yeah, you did. Because it's like with the cooking, what he was saying when uh, his job at his restaurant, they when he was cooking at the restaurant, that's how they wanted it done. Yep. Like the shrimp scampi. Ooh. And red lobster. Yeah, right? I know, right, man? They they wanted it performed a certain way. You had to do it. You can add your little tweaking to it. But when you do it at your house, if you want to add some extra garlic to it, Chanel, she likes the extra garlic to her stuff. And I heard that Kaja was a good cook, so she want to add her little little extra whatever to it, and she want to add her little extra love to it. You know what? A lot of people add extra love to their cooking. I don't know what they do, but they just say, I don't know, I just add extra love. When I made my meatloaf, I said, I don't know, I just, you know, I just do it. I just love it. Go ahead, Sister, what's your name is? Uh, Minister Chanel. Okay, I'm about to I'll take y'all somewhere right quick, but just going back to what Minister Warner said about, you know, going back to the scripture and saying don't change the recipe. I'm not necessarily talking about cooking, but with hair stuff, um, there's a recipe that calls for um, garlic, but it's a garlic oil, a concentrated garlic oil you're supposed to put in. But if you end up, some people want to take the shortcut and squeeze a garlic clove juice into the actual hair product. You changing the recipe, you adding stuff to it, that's going to end up giving you scalp problems yeah. because of the fungus and stuff like that that's actually involved in juicing the um, garlic yeah. instead of using the actual oil. So taking it to the scripture, observe to do it, thou shalt not add there to nor diminish from it thinking you know better or you're lazy oh, or you're changing what he said. You might end up doing more harm to yourself than what he told you to do. That's good, clap, 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 come on. That's good. That's good. Trying to take a shortcut. You know, all of this is so... Go ahead. Just going to throw this right in there. Garlic for your hair, it just helps stop shedding in case if people are, like, going crazy right now. <laughs> like, how you put garlic in your hair, it just stops shedding. Thank you. Come on, click, click, clap, clap. Click, click, clap, clap. Look, that was good. Um, Because I was thinking about impurity. Uh, that's what my mind was going to. It's probably like a pure oil that you're getting and you're trying to take a shortcut and thinking you know better and trying to, I can do this myself. Squeeze, squeeze garlic. But yeah, that's a, th this is what the Father is saying in this word here. Um, that he gave it to us. By the way, I sent the email with those two attachments. One thing I, so ever I command you, observe to do it. He said, this is what I've given you. And, you know, he's given it to us a certain way. He said, observe to do it. Do it. Don't add to it. Don't diminish from it. Don't take away from it. And he gave these instructions to the children of Israel. Now, this is just a little short synopsis. But he gave them specific instructions. And he also told them, he said, listen, when I take you to this place that I promised you, he said, don't look around at these lands and say, oh, I wonder how they worship their God. And I'm going to do it like they did, basically. That's what, you know, we, we, we found, you know, we, oh, I wonder what they got over there. Don't I do wanna, that. I want to have that with me, with my stuff. Yeah! No. I want to add that to my, to my cabinet. You know, what, whoa, what, what he gave me is not good enough, so I want to add what they did. And he, we see that every abomination that everything that, that the father saw was an abomination, those nations did. He, that's why he said, don't add what they did to what I told them, told to you, right? Remember that? Everybody remember that? I mean, they were sacrificing the babies. They were, I mean, they were doing all sorts of reprehensible acts. And he said, don't do that. Don't add it to it. And we found that they have done it. And we've also discovered that um, a lot of, things, a lot of terminology, a lot of uh, symbols, a lot of things have crept into the church. Ah. 
the church community in our everyday lives and in so many ways that uh, pagan things are, you know, things that we thought we were worshiping the Father, these things have been snuck in there and we found that it's been trying to take us out of our covenant relationship. So the Father has blessed us and he's given us tools that we have been discovering a lot of these things. And one of the things that we've been looking at is the days of the week. And we've been discovering where the names of the days of the week have come from. Amen. Uh, now, while I was doing all that, and we've been doing a little quick review, did everybody get their PowerPoints and handouts? Pastor, I think I'm going to have to send you yours on Skype. I always get an error message when I try to send you um, the email. Did you get Did you get it? Did everybody else have a chance to get it and um, open it up? Okay. okay. So we're talking about six day, or AKA Friday. Now, one thing, as I um, send this over to Pastor, one thing I want to uh, point out too. Now, Sister Kadra, she said, um, she said, what did you say? You said Saturday, but it was a good point I want to bring up because someday some people count. Sunday, yeah, I was just gonna check on when I said No, some people count that it's the way that uh, the days of the week. One, some put Monday as the first day of the week, and some people put Sunday as the first, and that's like a, an argument. And the, the main reason for that is that they count. Um, it depends on which false deity they put as the one that they worship. Because we found out that um, hmm. first day, a.k.a. Sunday, Jonathan, who was that they worship? High five and a Boom. Sun, yep. Sun worship. So those that say sun worship, um, that's, you know, yes, that is the first day of the week or the moon worship, you know, that was the, they said that was the most powerful, and that was the one that they had for the first day of the week. That was an argument with that, with the calendar formation. Pastor, that should be coming to you over Skype. Okay. Um, so that was, that's an, an argument that comes. So I knew, you knew what they were talking about. So when you said that, I was like, yeah, she knows. So anywho, so let's pull up our PowerPoint presentation and let's we're gonna go around the room and we're gonna just we're gonna read it and discuss it and do our thing like we normally do. And Minister Buona, we're gonna start out with you in um, our voice over the internet. And we're gonna start with the meat of the matter. Which would be starting out with the name. Um, yeah, I want to start with these scriptures too. I'm going to put these in the ear. Let's go to the scripture reference. Are we in the document or in the PowerPoint? In the PowerPoint. We'll go with Minister Buona, Brother MT, uh, Commissioner, Sis Cop, Cop, you got it, you got it, Commissioner? You got it? It's my fault. Go ahead, Minister Buona. Deuteronomy 12 and 30. Take heed to thyself that thou be not snared by following them. After that, they be destroyed from before thee. And that thou inquire not after their gods, saying, How do these nations serve their gods? Even so will I do likewise. Thou shalt not do so unto the Lord thy God, for every abomination to the Lord, which he hateth, have they done unto their gods. For even their sons and their daughters, they have burnt in the fire to their gods. Yes, that's it. 
I forgot that scripture was on there. But that's what we were talking about earlier. Go ahead, Brother MP. Next slide. No, we're, we're going to skip that next slide. This, this next slide, slide two, is the, the reference slide that we always have in there. We have what the Hebrew days, the young Rishon, young Shani on there. And then we have the, um, the next column with the first day, second day, um, the Gregorian calendar, the days of the week kind of things reference for your review. And then the third, oh, excuse me, the fourth slide. You start with that, Valenti. Research reveals that the Romans this day was sacred to the goddess Venus and was known as Dais Vernunia. Spanish Viernes, aka Venus Day, Latin name, Greek, Hernia, Aphrodite, Aphrodite Day, Aphrodite was the Greek goddess of love. Japanese, Kinobai, Gold Medal Day. Scandinavian, the Scandinavian name for Friday was named after the chief god's wife, Frigg or after the love goddess Frivia, who was also confused with Frigg. German, Freya Dog, is Old High German. Friday was also Freya New Dog. It was named after the goddess Frigg, but Freya Dog could also come from the name of the goddess Frivia, with the upside down E. English, Friday, would have never guessed. Friday was probably named after the Scandinavian love goddess Frivia, but could also be a modification of three. Yeah, exactly. I had I had pity on you this time. I didn't include all the other languages. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Plus it's the this way. You want to share? You participate too, Brother Steve? You can't see it. of love, beauty, and... Are they naming three or four different goddesses that are like interchangeable or something? Um, this is connected to the previous slide. The, um, in different languages, this day, aka Friday to us, they called it different days. Like in Spanish, that was Viernes, mm -hmm. and they related it to Venus. Mm -hmm. And in Greek, they associated it with Aphrodite. So the following slide, I just gave a little brief overview of who these people were. Venus was connected to, and Aphrodite, this one. And Frigg and Freya were, are the two 
that we're going to be talking about, and those were associated with Friday. And the, they don't know if it was Friday was named after Frigg or if it was named after Freya. So we're going to be talking about those two. And those two are associated with the Norse people. So that's why you see both of them say, is the Teutonic goddess of love. And the next one, is the Teutonic goddess of power. It's like, what? Uh, did I just read the same thing? Yeah. yeah. What's going on with Germany? Why are they confused? Yeah, they, they really are. They, it's like, okay, is this the old Ger is this the old Norse star, or is this the new Norse Norse? Or is this Norse, 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 Norse? No, yes. not that one. The Swedish shell. Yeah. So the Germans think Freya is Frigg, and they think Frigg is Freya? No, they think Freya is Freya, and Frigg is Frigga. No. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, they, um, one of them is older than the other, from my understanding of my reading. Go ahead, Pastor. Um, you say the language is, uh, Germany pronounced things different from most other translations, and a lot of stuff is handed down verbally. So when they wrote it, they'll write it in their enunciation. Most you got translation, they got transliteration. The Germans went mostly by transliteration, so they, in order to understand it, you have to keep it in a sentence most of the time. In other words, they was they was translated, and I gave this example before. They will translate uh, sun, S U N. And what we may be talking about is S O N. So, in order to interpret it right, you have to keep it, you have to transliterate it. You have to say, well, I took my son to the store. If you said, if you try to translate it by the direct translation, you would get S U N. I took my S U N to the store. You'd be like, you can't take your, you know, you can't even do that. That's impossible. So you have to transliterate it. You got to keep the stuff around it to get it and uh, to get to make sense of it. When you have words like this right here, it, it comes about in all translations, but more frequently in German. When you get words like this, when they transliterate it, both ways make sense. So it's hard for them to go back and get an exact. It's possible, but somebody know it. But it's hard for them to go back and get an exact interpretation or exact translation for what was said. Uh, you have examples of, of that in the Old Testament yes. uh, with Lord. A lot of times they use Adonai, and, and you might get uh, uh, some kind of, what's the other one? Uh, um, not Elohim, not Elohim, another one, another Anyway, they, they got those different translations about uh, the same thing. So the Lord, you get, in the same sentence, you get Lord, Lord. And instead of them saying Elohim of Elohim, which is the Hebrew language, they would go into another language. They would just, they want to write Elohim, Elohim down. So they want to, because they can't be Elohim, Elohim, that's the same thing. So they got to be the Elohim of the Elohim, Elohims. And so, well, we can't write that because that's stupid. So we'll write Elohim of Amonai. In other words, he's the Elohim, he's the greatest of the great. That's what he's trying to say. So that's I hope that didn't confuse your words at the end. It would be like me trying to say uh, uh, McCall is the oldest of McCalls. And they're like, you are not gonna understand. That that's what they were faced with. McCall is the oldest of the McCalls. That's how primitive and how I don't want to say primitive, but the choices they had to work with. So they would go to another language and translate McCall or the oldest dad, and they would say, Papa McCall is the oldest of the McCalls. And that's how they would do it, if that interested them. Keep your hand. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, it makes sense to me, because, or in, and it may make sense to you too, as we get more into reading about these two um, different names, because a lot of the stories kind of overlap. Um, and you'll say, okay, now is this Frigg or is this Freya? You know, because a lot of the information, and then when you think about um, like the movie Thor, mm -hmm. you think, wait now, 
Which one is related to Thor? Is it Frigg or Freya? Go ahead. Um. Oh, was that the voice? In the, was that you or was that? Mr. That was Warren? me. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Warren. Um, I, I, my main concern here is I just want to make sure I understand these two paragraphs right because the first one says Freya talks about Freya then it says the last sentence she is confused in the journey with Freya so I assume that the Germans think Freya is Freya second paragraph says Freya and then the last sentence says she is confused with Freya so it sounds like to me that the Germans think that one is the other That's, that was my original question do they think that Freya is Freya and Freya is Freya Exactly, and, and it's primarily exactly because of what Pastor was saying, and the stories do overlap. The sto- they, as you, um, when, they, when you read the, the information about them, it's like a lot of the stories that they say one did, they're saying that the other did, or a lot of the, the stuff that they say one is responsible for, they also attribute it to uh, one or the other. They say one is responsible for love and marriage, and the other. They say the other one is responsible for love and marriage. Or they say, um, yeah. So it, it's like it's sort of like when um, you go to the different regions. You know how uh, we study some of the other false deities and. We go to the different regions, and when you go to the different regions, they have the same attributes, but they go on a different name. Um, it's like, to me, I put it in my head as I was studying it, it's like you probably got a northern Germany and a southern Germany. And in the northern Germany, they said Freya, and in the southern Germany, they attributed it to Freya. That's how I had to keep it straight in my head, because it's, a lot of the things were so closely related and I think that's how they um, had to separate it in their, their research. Um, and I'm, I'm going to send you something else, Minister Warner, if you're interested. I'm, I'm good. No, oh, I, okay. My question was really simple. It was just the English. It was confusing me how to word it. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I'm, I'm good. Okay. Uh-huh. I just want to add on to, it's not that you try to answer this question, just to add on. Uh, first of all, I want to say that the uh, the English that we speak is you ever wonder why our language is so different from uh, the English over like overseas like the Queen of England those cats because uh, our language came directly from German we speak more Germany than we do the Queen's English that's why the Queen's English is defined as the Queen's English. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> a lot of them evolved from German too, their language too, but ours came directly from German. So, because America wanted its own unique language. So they took it. As most people took um, like uh, Latin and whatever, Spanish and whatnot, translated down to their language, we took German. And we took a lot of the German traditions and whatnot. And yeah, so America did. Anyway. Uh, but I also want to say that uh, we find an example of this exact same thing right here in uh, when we studied uh, the, the church of uh, Laodicea. Like uh, uh, when we talked about the uh, Laodicea, when he said he was going to, you neither cold nor hot. Because you need the cold or hot, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. So. Well, that's the exact same thing. What they did, they took. Um, I think it was Zeus. It was it Zeus? No, it was the uh, fish god. Dagon. 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 They took Dagon and gave him a unique, different look and different powers. They did the same thing. Uh, you see that throughout scriptures where they did ball. Some places ball would be over grain and stuff. And then in other places it would be over dot and dot. They, it's the same thing and in Christianity they do the same thing with Yeshua yeah. when before they had some that's why writing was so an important thing before they got uh, scriptures written down what they would do you know they would tell stories and so people would get them messed up uh, and that's why you see everything that Tomas did is come out that Yeshua did yeah. and 
I mean, one one subject they had was I think that Yeshua turned somebody into a tree or something. They said uh, uh, he killed one boy and then brought him back to life. All these different stories that they said he did and he didn't, you know, according to our canon, yes. he didn't do. And so that's why it's you know it's so important that and that's what make what that's what makes this spirit of God so important in your life. Because the people, even the people who discern what is in the Bible or what should be in the Bible, you know, they, they even said that as they was interpreting it. You know what I'm saying? Everything we put up in here, it ain't right. So you need to do your own research. That's what they put in their first Bible, the King James Bible, put it that way. The first King James Bible, you see it at the front print. They say, we did the best we can, but we know it's not right. So do your own research. And so even throughout scripture, you see so much of this, so much how, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the fire, but I can't mind going blank. One thing uh, the, uh, one of the old fire that they used to sacrifice baby to. Mine, mine was they gone. Yeah, it was they gone. And then you see it over in another place, he was doing something else. Um, what's your, what's your uh, Genesis, your healing scripture? Abraham took prayed unto who? God. And then it says what? And God healed who? Abimelech. Abimelech. Uh -huh. And we see Abimelech yeah. is, we see there is used as a name, but Abimelech was, really was just like saying Pharaoh. Yeah. So, you know, just like saying the president. You don't know what president. You don't, you don't know what, what Pharaoh. Yeah. You know. So, you got an interpretation there, but you can add anybody's name to it. You know, you add anybody. So you see it in a, a thing that they didn't know who the name was, so they left it as a bit like yeah. Or, 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 was his name a bit like? Because his name might have been a bit like. You don't know. Yeah. And they didn't know. That's why they left it like that. So yeah. anyway, that, that's, that's the type of example that we see throughout scripture. So don't let nobody fool you and come tell you that scripture is incorrect. The interpretation may be incorrect or may have made some mistakes, mm -hmm. but what Yah says or what scripture, what was really said is never wrong. Yah is impossible for him. I say this all the time that uh, if, he could, if he's <laughs> If there is something that he can't do, then he ain't God. If he could be wrong, if he ain't always right, then he ain't God. That's true, man. I mean, if you make a yeah. mistake, that's not God. Yeah. How you God and make a mistake? Yeah. So something, something is stronger than you. Yeah. To make you mess up. Yeah. Okay. I'll so, and that help you with your reading, so we see that something that said where God repented or something. And then you read somewhere else when it said that uh, God never repents or he something. You'd be like, well, wait a minute. Some of the translation is off here. Literally, yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. which include fertility, gold, and death. Mm. She rides a chariot that is driven by two cats. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> when she's not in her chariot, she's also known to hitch a ride on a boar she owns called... Wow. That's yeah. Elvis, isn't it? Yeah. Kill this, meaning. Get on my level. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do that you were included with fertility and death. Yep. <laughs> yep. Both. 
Crappy oven getting around. <laughs> hey, gold got in between. Gotta have gold too. Yeah, the gold's what comes. But you notice the title of the slide says "Too Funny Not to Include." I forgot. I, I mean, I had to, I had to throw the boards in there. I yeah, was like, was well, where the boards came from? That's what I'm saying. You know, when the, when the cats got tired, she had to throw the seat. Hey, don't be here. Jump on the back of the wing. I'm the cat.
See, this is read. It's written really stupid. I don't. Daughter of some irrelevant person. Okay, so Frick is the sister of Jared, and who's also the daughter. She's the daughter and sister. That don't make sense, does it? Is that what they yeah, say? Does it? Daughter and Frig or Frig of the daughter of Frigidaire and sister of Jar. So if I'm the daughter of mother and she's my sister, and that's the father. That means the father is the father of the child. Oh. It's the sister of the father. Oh. That that so then the father would be the father of the daughter. Okay, so you're right. She did marry. So yeah. Got it. And everybody was happy when they got married. That's nasty. I guess you got to keep your royalty in the family somehow, right? And so she was considered the queen of the gods. Okay, next slide. You nasty. Minister Guan, are you up? Frigga was goddess of the atmosphere, or rather, the clouds. And as such, was represented as weather wearing either snow white or dark garments according to her somewhat <laughs> variable mood. She was queen of the gods and she alone had the privilege of sitting on the throne of Hamase Hamasama Makusa. <laughs> beside her August husband in July. From then she too could look over all the world and to see what was happening. And according to the belief of our ancestors, she possessed the knowledge of the future, which, however, no one ever could or could ever prevail upon her to reveal. Thus, proving without a shadow of a doubt that northern woman could keep a secret inviolate. Wow. I don't even know what that means. Somebody said, somebody said they slick. Yeah. I don't even know what inviolate means. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no clue what that means. I know the future, but I ain't telling. <laughs> I still think that keyword I ain't keep secrets. Yeah. <laughs> I bet y'all can tell me that. I know something that you don't know. I know something you don't know. It means it wasn't violent. I knew you was going to say that. It's right. Yeah. Like, I didn't I didn't want to tell you. Not violent or profane, intact. Yes. Get my cake. What? Hey. One could keep a secret, not violated. Woo! That don't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'll tell you. If she violated, then I did not do it. The secret isn't violated. Yeah, the secret ain't. They could keep a secret inviolated. Huh? Why are we focusing well, on that word? You don't understand what's going on. She better not let Victoria get next. To it, I tell you that. <laughs> Listen here. That's some fun stuff right there. The next thing. She got the guys of the clown. I don't think. If you really say so. Or <laughs> <laughs> Look at the next picture. Next slide is a picture. Somebody did that. What? Yeah, it does, because she looked like, well, I don't know why, why they got feathers on her head. Is that a fishing pole? 
That's the that's the crane. You know what? Montreal, the goose is gonna come into play later. The clouds are photoshopped. Yeah, it is pho- it is photoshopped, man. Uh, you know that girl knows her stuff. Yeah, look at that pattern. They okay. put an opacity on that. And what the fuck it says in Photoshop is fine. Yeah, that's me. That's how it's staying detailed. You see that pattern? That's, they threw an opacity on it. Oh, next slide. Yes, Pastor. Who is the August Hood? Now, are you read that again? He <laughs> said it was July. <laughs> I don't even know what August means. Hey, okay. well, August her husband <laughs> is Odin, but I don't know why they call him her August husband. I'm just because uh, it's not a month or nothing. They haven't back then. I don't know. I don't know why they call him her August. It's not capitalized, so August got to be a meaning or something. Uh, yeah, it's got to be a description, a word, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. What? The adjective always means somebody tall, dark and handsome. Does it mean old? No. Does it mean powerful? It means daddy. Well, I mean, (laughs) August means inspiring reverence or admiration of supreme dignity or grandeur, majestic. Oh, there you go. That's a cool name. (laughs) Yes. Well, who was the other person that could look over the world? Oh, it is pronounced August. Oh, excuse oh, me. That's, that's what we did wrong. Oh, it's like that. September. You know exactly what it's called. <laughs> Mom wants to talk about Odin. it. Odin? She's sitting in Odin's chair. That's Odin's open. He thinks about how those chair. Yeah. What? Awesome. Remember Odin said Odin has a chair that he can sit in and he can see all over the world? I must have missed that part. Or I wasn't paying attention to something. <laughs> when we did Odin? I'll probably say after that day. <laughs> I think I think we should ignore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad at the slide. Slide ten. Some info on Freya. Freya, also known as Frigg, the beloved, was the goddess of love, marriage, and destiny. She was the it's wife of the powerful Norse god Odin, the All Father. <laughs> a sky god is responsible that. for weaving the clouds and therefore that's it, I'm going for <laughs> 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 the and rain and the fertility of the crops she was also responsible for weaving the fates she, she, was known known. she was known as a seer <laughs> one who knew the future though she could never change it she, a liar. she also couldn't tell it in ancient <laughs> times, the, e- the end of the winter solstice epic, when the hours of sunlight began to lengthen, marked the beginning of the new year, and was a time to think of new possibilities that would unfold. And all time she knows she's gone. Nick, I know why Odin's called the All Father. I'm just saying.
<laughs> in North Europe. So it was the darkness of that night that the goddess Trigra labored to give birth to Baal, who was so pleasant and radiant, who was beloved of all the gods, referred as the Norse god of light, or the god of midsummer sun celebrations of his life, death, and resurrection were held at midsummer, yeah, and usually involved watching the sun set and rise. His myths were immortalized in the sun god Symphony. Okay, I see what you did there with that hair, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. It wasn't hard. Mm -hmm. I but you just read Johnson. Yeah. Summarize it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Mid summarize. <laughs> 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 wow, wow, wow. Don't get a run MP. He's the god of the midsummer sun. Celebration of his life and death. That's life, death, and gold right there. <laughs> 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 Come on, somebody talk to me about this slide. Go ahead, Minister Chanel. So, people were not born, but were weaved into existence? <laughs> is, that, is that what's going on? Destiny. She gave those three old ladies on her to leave the, ch the uh, yarn. She made the <laughs> yarn for them to get. <laughs> that was so nice of her. I'm a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was a joke. She did not really give them people a thread. No, <laughs> no. Basically, what 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 is saying? What? <laughs> that lady wanted to be so important, so bad. <laughs> Northern Lights. 
have color in them. Oh, yeah, they're pretty. And that's what they mean by the midsummer day, oh, yeah. whatnot, and the, um, the uh, whatever they call it, the something that night. Huh? The Northern Lights over here. Okay. Well, they, they. They're on Pokemon. <laughs> Okay. I'm still stuck on the weaving. Okay, so she knows the future. So is she spinning people's futures? That's what. That's what's going on. She can't say it, but she can show you. That's what um this this particular slide or this particular resource is saying that she it has some um influence in that that she's weaving. <coughs> The destiny, not only of man, but of the of the God too. Mm -hmm. That she, so it's like, is she? Is she making a quilt? Like, what is she making? Oh, now I don't know if it's in this slide thing, but they were saying that she's spinning clouds. So oh yeah, she, yeah, yeah. What she we read spin that. is the clouds. Um, now what I'm what I. What I have read, I don't know if she actually spins out their destiny is what they're saying, or when she spins the clouds, she actually sees what their destiny is. You know, so what I have read, I I can't, you know. Gotcha. But it's the she's um, very eccentric. Yeah, but I I want you to see the connection here. What what um with the sun god stuff and her son. S O N uh, Balder. Okay, I just put a pin in that. Go ahead, Minister Warren. I see a lot of parallels to what we in our culture call New Year New Year's resolutions. Yeah. Where we, you know, we try to people so called set goals and say what they're gonna do for the new year and stuff. And from what I can see, this Freya was looked at as a deity that could tell you the future and could, you know, you could confide in her to set, you know, what your New Year's resolutions are going to be um, for the New Year. You know, you're supposed to reflect on the New Year, but I think a lot of people kind of look to the future and say, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do that. So I just see a little bit of a parallel with that. Exactly. That's good. Can I give me a hand? Yeah. <clears throat> Very good. Um, and, and just to throw this out, too, there are, um, when, you, when you talk about her, I think it's her, uh, anyway, when I was, she, you know, when you have somebody that's royalty, they always have somebody in attendance to them. They have people that attend to them. But and one of the people that attend to her uh, is one that does take those requests to anyway to her and those New Year's requests to her for a minute of one, just like what you were talking about those resolutions for the people. Anyway, let's go to the next slide. <coughs> A loving mother, Frigga's ability to see into the future caused her great pain as she foresaw the death of her beloved Baldur. Even though she knew that she could not change his destiny, she simply couldn't just sit by and watch so that frantic goddess wait, okay, she, she couldn't just sit by and watch. So the frantic goddess extracted a promise from all things that they would play no role in his death. Unfortunately, she overlooked one thing, the mistletoe plant which seemed too insignificant to approach. And this was the unraveling of her plan. Yes. <laughs> yes. I really hope we're gonna find out what that means in the next slide. Yes, yes we are. Yes. Wait, everybody's face is like, you gotta be kidding me. I missed something. It's coming up now. Yes, she did. She went to everything. 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 Except the, except the mistletoe plant. She looked at it and said, oh, no. Nah. What if extracted a promise? She made them all promise. She oh. said, listen, you promised not to hurt my son. The oh. grass agreed. The grass agreed to. And she went to the tree. You promised not. Yes, she went to everything. Gotcha. Ja she went to Jonathan. Don't you hurt? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't say, no, she didn't. <laughs>
Okay. Man, oh, we, got, we got several different things going on on this week, on this live. <laughs> several different mind blowing <laughs> things. I've never seen a goddess so desperate for attention. Yeah. Like, she wanted a hand in everything. Well, the, she can't, the people did that to her. They made up these stories. Okay. <laughs> first, first, she got um, How you keep it? another version of the Balder story that ends happily. I like this one. Where um, oh. he came back to life. <laughs> okay. She reversed the curse and made it a happy thing for the um, mistletoe. Well, promising that whoever stood under the mistletoe, that's where the kids came from. Mm -hmm. Why does the mistletoe still cry? Because uh, it was, you know, it remembers her, I guess, her pain. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. It still feels guilty. Yeah, it still feels guilty. Yeah, that, that'll work. Yeah, let's plug that one in. It's <laughs> a story, too. Oh, man. Okay. So then now, do you, do you remember the picture that you saw? And you said, hey, that looks like a goose. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The goose. It's, that's her sacred animal. Remember, all of them have a sacred animal. The goose is a sacred animal. Yeah. Where'd she got a blanket from? She hey, rolled hey. it? Yeah. I'm sorry, if someone, if, if that whole thing would have had all of this and that one sentence was taken out, I would be okay. I was thinking, yeah, it just came out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere. Her sacred animal is goose. I'm already laughing at that because she stood around and said, hey, I want my sacred animal to be a goose. <laughs> and then it just came out of nowhere when she shook her foot. I'm gonna tell you, when I was reading this stuff, I was imagining all the responses from from the people when I was gonna, you know, as you guys gonna read it. And I have to say that I did not imagine y'all y'all exceeded my imagination. It just it's it's, it's it's wonderful. I'm so <laughs> mad at the snow. I don't think you understand. <laughs> all this other stuff I like, get it. Love, marriage, peace. Hey, what the fuck are y'all, for all these years we've been lied to by Mother Goose? I mean, what? What? Oh, she told stories on the blanket, right? I have no idea. Oh, it doesn't make sense. What does Mother Goose do? I, she she was growing up, I never, I never could understand, they, and it always scared me about this Mother Goose thing. Why would a goose tell me stories anyway? It was so scary. It had goose. glasses, and it was And goo 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 <laughs> Them things. All of them. They were scary. They are mean. Right? <laughs> and they, they chase you. I was scared of them. Scared. I mean, I didn't want to hear them. But anyway. Stay back because you don't know about the mistletoe sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Please. Hope you just ran. That's some funny stuff to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is that, that some funny stuff. Okay. Uh, next slide. Ooh. I'm Oh, this is good. Go to Montreal. Additional interesting items. <coughs> May refer to Freight as the Queen of Heaven. The story of her son, Balder, dying and rising again. Oh, yeah. And, and, excuse me, in some regions, the goddess's Easter's stories are closely related to making some think that they may be the same. Okay, I wrote Wait a minute. <laughs> the egg. The goose. Oh. I get it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Goose egg. Golden oh. goose egg. Golden oh. egg. Nursery rhyme. I get it. Gold. It's there. I think. Yeah. <laughs> the golden goose so egg. Which came first, the goose or the egg? The gold. <laughs> <laughs> the golden what? goose egg. Oh, man. I don't get it. I wrote this. Is, this kind of weird. Uh, as I read it now, this is weird. I wrote this, I must confess. But anywho, um, uh, in the research, they gave different names um, that were associated, uh, that were also associated with Frigg and Easter, or Esther, as we like to torture. This time. No Esther. As, as we like to torture Montreal. <laughs> Montreal. Ishtar. With Ishtar. Ishtar. Esther was a Bible character. Ishtar. Ishtar. Okay, we got it. AKA Ether. <laughs> was also one of the names that they associated with Frigg in another part of the world. They associated a lot of the um, the attributes or some of the same things that they associated with Frigg. So anyway, correlated it. Same thing with F Ether. That's not as stuck in my head. 
point. And then now I want you to see the um, also the correlation with Balder, her son, dying and then rising again. Remember, and the Queen of Heaven title that they, they connected with Frigg. And the sun god stuff, you know. So see that. And see how they twisted that truth in there. Oh, man, y'all see that? Yeah, it is. And they gave her a date. So, in, and another thing that came to mind too, when they celebrate Easter, the holiday, you <laughs> you see that um, they have Friday as well. It's Good Friday. I was gonna say they have Friday as Good Friday, yeah. but uh, they have that as the day of. of the death of Jesus. Right? Oh! That's I interesting. Get it. That's an interesting correlation there. Serious adding on to mm -hmm. it. Who's so, of the truth? Yeah, that's some interesting twisting going on right there. So next week, we're going to have to pick up for Priya. And I'll tell you now, that's you can, you can, if you want to, you can take a look. I, I, I may have to take some medicine or something, because y'all might make me hurt myself with the laughter or with some of the stuff. I know, so much about I know, right? Some fun stuff. Anyway, um, so very good discussion surrounding this. Please be prayerful, be watchful, and continue to just, just pay attention to a lot of things that are going on around you this month. Um, a lot. I meant to point out a couple of things um, before class started about how the enemy is not hiding anything. Um, one thing that I was talking to Pastor about and they were going to end the class. You know there's this commercial where uh, they, it's a car commercial and it says that the car is so good that it's worth selling your soul for. <laughs> That's so not a commercial. So no, it sounds dumb. It's, it's a commercial. It, I think it is a Mercedes. It's, uh, and uh, this I thrust I cannot remember oh. his name. You see that? Uh, Will Ferrell, was that? The, oh no, that wasn't. Warren who played Green Guy. He was, he was about to say oh. that thing that he woke up and said. Insult of Yeah, I think I got it. Yeah, exactly. What is the name? Yeah. And then it's, um, you know, that one, you know, where he's sitting there with the devil, and, and then he's got the pen and all that. And then, uh, then it's, the, it's another commercial where the, the tagline is this car is so great that it's worth selling your soul for. I said, you know, I'll have to take their word for it. I said, you gotta be kidding me. Like, don't try it. Jonathan, can you believe that? Exactly. Don't so it's like, you know, that this is the time that we're living in, so it, we've gotta be diligent. We've gotta really use our discernment. We gotta be prayerful. And we've got to stay connected. We've got to encourage one another. We've got to continue to pray for one another. Um, when we see someone uh, in trouble, we've got to do what we can do to pull them up. We've got to pray for them. We've got to, uh, whatever the Father is leading you to do in order to help your brother, your sister, um, you know what I mean? We've, we've got to fight a good fight of faith. Amen. Okay. I mean, we, we've got to, I mean, this is war. We are, we really are in a war. And we are, these are the last days that we're living in. And, you know, people have been saying that for years, but if you can't see that we're living in the last days, I, I'll let you borrow my glasses if you want to. <laughs> hey, what um, the man say in the, in the rap song, I, I read my words so I can see with my eyes closed, something like that. I don't know. I might be saying it wrong, goes. but then that man. Stay away, God closed, so he keeps his eyes closed. There you go. Did y'all, um, quick addendum to what she was saying about the end times. There's this, you may have talked about it, but over in China, there was an invasion of these giant locusts that are killing people. Yes. Ew. Yes. And they about the size, they like the size of your hand. Yeah. And then I think they reported 50 people perish to these things because of their stingers are like almost two inches long yep. and um they're making their way to france and uk right now no 
No, so. stop them, kill them. Yeah, yeah they, they, um, Jer- Brother Jarrell posted a uh, picture on Facebook. I and they, they are, lost. no, yeah, well, they are in, um, Chicago? Chicago. Illinois. Illinois. Yeah. So they come from <laughs> Illinois already. You can't go. I'm going to ask him to post it in, uh, on the Facebook, I mean, uh, in our group thing. But yeah, he, it's, it's crazy. I thought it was, I meant to take a picture of it, but this weird bug coming out of my apartment. Anywho, but yeah, we we really got to watch and pray, people. Seriously, this is serious. This is serious. <laughs> yep. Anybody else? Questions? Saying? Comments? All right, come on, y'all. Let's put our hands together and thank the Father for this episode. Another class, very good discussion, very good participation. And thank you for another episode of Covenant Vows. And contract. We're going to take a 10 minute break and be back for 15 minutes with Pastor, right? Right? You still do that? Okay. I'm asking. Okay. Yeah. All right.